Well, good evening, everybody. My right. name is Arthur Morgan. Today we're joined by myself, Christopher, Daniel, Oshan, or Stephen. I'm going to stop that now yeah, because I'm going to break my fucking throat. Uh, apparently, Simon was supposed to be ho- uh, hosting this episode, so I'm taking over. Rest in peace. Uh, we are the Milkmen. We specialize in comedic commentary, pop culture from the week prior, including recent news, <laughs> games, food, and more. You're right. Stephen just went, well, after you said comedic commentary. <laughs> after last episode, at the very end, I would beg to differ. But anyway. Just last episode? Yeah, all the others have been shit. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, been a work right. in progress until that moment. I think the episode before the last one was the best one. Where you hosted? Yeah, that was a joke. That's the least viewed one, I think, ever. <laughs> oh, no so we got three one. views instead of four. You weren't there, Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the best one was the first one I was drunk in. Are you drunk now? No. You didn't give me enough rum? I mean, apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, Ellis. Continuing to the second segment, we are plugging our Patreon for only just £3 a month, which is a price of a nice coffee, apparently. Uh, you get a great deal, uh, including merch discounts, podcast specials, and if you have a bit more moolah, then you can get a few more benefits that I can't remember for the life of me. So... Subscribe, and uh, if oh yeah, the hat. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the Patreon, what are you doing? Yeah, just uh, give us a bit of uh, dollar dollar, and we'll piss on a hat and send it your way. Exactly. Please get, please get rid of this hat. Please. We're fucking sick and tired of it's seeing It's basically a seventh hat. character at this point. Yep. Introducing Hat, the new Milkman <laughs> member. Just put some Google. To so be it. fair, mate, it's here more than Simon. <laughs> so Simon's the seventh member. <laughs> Shall we get a mic for the hat as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. one, Stephen. So, <laughs> no, hang on. So, six of us, then seventh Angus, eighth hat. No, no, no. no Ten Jono. That's what I was going to go <laughs> to. Me, me yeah. ninth. You don't. Well, who can be Why? the ninth? Come uh, on, brainstorm. One of the cups. Don't be what stupid. What the fuck are we waffling on about yeah, now? Get on. on to the next fucking Okay, segment. segment one. Story of the week. Segment where some of the milkmen volunteer to tell a story that's happened to them recently or in the past, then we will decide who has the best story of that week. Can we get rid of this segment? Because, like, ah, fuck. my life's dull as no, fuck. mate, you need to just start thinking hard about your life and actually no, tell some stories. No, because then I get sad. Same, but I still do it. Damn, you're right. There was this time in school, right, I got bullied. <laughs> <laughs> just one time? No. They carried on. Did you guys get bullied much in school? Yes. Every I did. Day. I got called really? Jesus. You got called Jesus? <laughs> yeah, because I had hair similar to yours, actually. But people used to call me Jesus. Do you remember that one time we went to a club not nearby and uh, I was called Jesus because I was wearing sandals to a club? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if I was drunk, but I, oh, I think I think you tried to pull me back because I think I gave the impression I was about to start on them. But No, you were like, I remember it. So you, we, we were in the queue. And then it was the bouncer that said that. And I was fucking fuming. But you were like worried if you were allowed in. So I just, oh. I just, I was already in. Oh, right. So I just came back to the door and grabbed you and then walked off from the bouncer. Oh. I was fuming at him. <laughs> He's dead now. You don't want to be saying that online. All the bouncers are going to come after you now, including Simon. Yeah, fucking bring it on. Call my friend Jesus. I don't mind <laughs> it. And I'll kill you. It's, it's a compliment. Sci fi character. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that being called Jesus isn't the word. Mate, he was ripped. Uh, he also doesn't exist. What do you mean he was ripped? Have you not seen any like fake pictures of him? He's got like he's built. Have you not seen him with the Moy? <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, the eight pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no. All right, whatever. He was taking the piss out of you, and it annoyed me. What? Sorry that I want to defend my friend. Thanks, Thanks you know man. I mean? Barking out. Didn't bother me, Stephen. Were you bullied as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> was he? Still that bullied is. now. <laughs> Just asking everyone. No. Right. In all fairness, you oh. weren't probably weren't bullied, but yes, you I... are bullied now. No, I was bullied. <laughs> Shut up. I wasn't bullied. I was like, I was liked by just all groups. I think. Okay. Here's I was some... like middle ground. I feel like we were in high school, Chris. I feel like we were just in middle ground. Yeah, like in between. This is it? something yeah. I'm yeah. gonna add because none of you will really understand this because all of you have siblings and probably went to the well maybe exception with Oshan, went to the same school and had them in the same mm. kind of pool. I didn't have anybody like that. So fuck all y'all. And I didn't get bullied for oh, it either. 
My We're fault. going down yeah. the different sad route. No, <laughs> okay. I said I didn't get bullied. Oh, Neither yeah. did we. Yeah. You didn't get bullied. I didn't get bullied. Sure. Was I too surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. We can choose that. Enough here. <laughs> No, you I was... didn't get bullied. <laughs> no, it's it's weird to describe it this way, but I can't think of another way. I was kind of the bully police. I uh, I was. I know okay. it's it's a weird way okay, of putting so it. Basic, what he's saying is he, he was bullied realize. by and everyone's everyone. Yeah, yeah everyone. Imagine. Yeah. No, nah, I just like I had a massive intolerance for people picking on my mates, so I just battered them. What mates? Yeah, <laughs> they did you by yourself. Last episode, you were saying you... yeah, mates of a different time. Oh right, hang on. Yeah, you had mates other than us. Don't believe it. Unfortunately, yeah. How oh, dare you? They're all gone now. <laughs> they dead or <laughs> half of them? <laughs> they passed. Some of them. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> and Do well, you be... don't fucking call him that again, mate. I'll back to you. And we've got story to tell. Otherwise, oh, no, I'm going to ask uh, Chris if he was like... bullied. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm trying to. Do you know what? <laughs> this act, talking about school and that that hmm. actually reminds me of um, one occasion. So I was. I was, this was during me getting bullied by people mm. and we were playing, I think it was just like tip, so tag or whatever the fuck you call right. it. And um, it was at that time where everyone in school used to like do parkour and that. So we were playing tag, tip, whatever you want to call it. We we're playing it and I was running up um, what they called a mobile, like, you know, like a- The ramp of the mobile. The ramp of the mobile classrooms. Oh, right. So, and then I jumped over and then you sort of like, as you jump over, you, you grab the other side so you can sort of land on your feet. But my hand missed. <laughs> so then I just fell onto my face, right? And broke, because I had my bag with me as well, broke all my fucking lunch all over my <laughs> school books. That was the like, that was the caveat. That was everything that you broke your heart because you broke your lunch. Yeah. Everything else didn't matter. And what didn't help was the people that were bullying me were right there where I uh... fell. So it didn't help, yeah. Jesus, man. Yeah, that was it. Can't do parkour. No, I'm. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> I almost killed myself that night. It's a shame. You Sorry. Didn't. Why are you like? Hang on. Yeah. What the fuck? He said. Oh, shame. <laughs> you started. It was, it was your delivery that made me laugh. Well, I'm really trying to think of like, stories from high school, mm. but obviously it was only like me and Steve. So we say anything. These two are going to be absolutely clueless. Do you know what I mean? Well, but that's just... the point of saying the story. Yeah. yeah. Um, We're learning something about you. I'm just trying to think of like the funny, like, I've funny got, moments. I've got a really funny moment. Okay, go on. Lovely. So, we actually met in RE, didn't we, Chris? Yeah, I feel like I... Sorry, what's RE? Uh, religious studies. Okay. Yeah, because... <laughs> what? I know. I don't know why religious it's called education. RE. RE, yeah. Religious Oh, education. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Whatever. But, um, I think like... like, the way, like we knew each other, but yeah, yeah, we weren't we were, like, friends until... Friends. Yeah, yeah, we sat down and... Shagged. Yeah, basically. Talked about religion. Mm. Yeah, because originally I was sat, I think I was sat either next to you or Robbie, like Stephen or Robbie. I wasn't in the same RE class as you. You were to begin with. It was like one year, of the years. Okay, so you're nine? Year nine or something. You definitely were. And then uh, they, like Robbie and Stephen, sat next to each other. So then I had to sit on the end. And then you came along. I was like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> he, was, he was this dickhead. And then, um, yeah been a love story ever since uh, anyway in <laughs> religious studies we had this teacher that some of the kids found fit right but on one occasion she must have dropped some coffee oh, no. on her skirt or something okay <laughs> it's so bad and then she just started rubbing on her skirt in her crotch area right behind a table so we couldn't really <laughs> see behind the table so yeah, I feel bad just for her. Use your imagination. Yeah. Why is this the story you thought? Was it blonde hair teacher? Why are you out in her? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, it we was. know the one. Okay. You know the yeah. one, Steve. Yeah, no, I know I do. <laughs> do you know what's really bad? One of the kids started filming it and started posting it everywhere. It was nah. fucking wow bad, but it was funny as fuck. <laughs> I remember the, um, oh, I mean, it's not, the, I forget you say the head teacher's name, Pierce. Do you remember Pierce edits? And then someone <laughs> edited his face onto like loads of like memes and yeah. stuff and we were on Facebook. That was bad. Yeah. He loved it though. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> no, Allegedly. 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 Yeah, Allegedly. Well, yeah. But the thing about uh, RE, do you remember like GCSE where we got separated because we were dicking about <laughs> and then our grades got worse? <laughs> <laughs> so we were sat next to each other in religious studies and then um, 
the teacher literally went, right, you're both doing awful. You're not on grade. You fucking, you're not even bothering to do your work. So I'm going to sit you on opposite ends of the classroom so you can't dick about with each other because we literally just didn't give a <laughs> shit about the course. Subject, yeah, yeah. And somehow our grades got worse. So then she was like, oh, do you know what? I can't even be fucking arsed. Sit next to each other again. And then we got A's. <laughs> we immediately yeah. went really well. Yeah, it was so weird. It's like we were just like both happy that we were <laughs> together again. <laughs> so cute. Uh, yeah. yeah. You guys were inseparable. Mm. I'm trying to you think like, just yeah. fuck right now. Again? Again. 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 Well, the cameras are recording this time. But yeah. That's cool. Not the only time. fans. <laughs> yeah, ma- imagine, imagine we fucked right now. <laughs> Why am I turned on? Uh, yeah, high school was shit. Mm. Yeah. Any stories, Steve? Yeah. I was just thinking of some high school ones. Like, it's just like those little ones that no one would get. Like I got ooh. Robbie jumping on the piece of cardboard <laughs> and, and slipping, yeah. slipping on the ice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He throws up in RE. Oh. And Miss Davis had to give him the bin. That was a like history. History, history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't there that day because oh, I was just, I just threw up in the yeah. bin in front of everyone. But it's like, she, <laughs> she, like, she like called it, didn't she? Yeah, she, she made went, like a weird boom, burp and straight she was like, away. It was, it was like she had like some weird sixth sense. Grab the bin, boom. He was sick straight into. But he drank like a weird. It's weird like a drink, weird drink. Yeah, yeah. Well, like some weird drink that's like no, you can't. You, it's like you wouldn't be able to find it now. It was no, like, probably not. It's probably been recalled because. <laughs> He drank some and then went to class, immediately <laughs> threw up in a bin. Yeah. Mm. And I, I remember I wasn't in that day and I was fuming because I skived off because I couldn't be asked going in. I was like, oh, I've got a tummy ache. I want to go in. So I didn't. <laughs> and then I missed that. Yeah. Uh, I, I've actually got one of um, when I was in Welsh. Mr. Edwards, do you remember Mr. Edwards? Yeah. Like, one of the best teachers. Mm-hmm. I remember I wasn't feeling great in this class. And you know each block, like the, they, had, they had toilets in each block. Yeah. So... They, I think they wanted to close it. So I went down. I went past the maths block because that's the next one because I was mm. heading all the way down to Ari. And um, there's usually these like horrible people that sit outside the maths one. So I don't like go into it because me and Robbie went there and they, they're just horrible people. So we were just like not dealing with them. Went past them. Went all the way down to our like, history because I thought I can make it. What we're doing, I remember there's two people in front of me were Olivia Madison and Harry Shackleton. They stood right in front of me. I just project off on me. <laughs> oh. On them? No, no, not on them. <laughs> and I was like, great. So I ran to the toilet, <laughs> went to the toilet, project behind all over the toilet door. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yeah, and then I went into the toilet and I was sick. And then some guy started banging on my door, thought I was just going to the toilet trying to make fun of me. I was just throwing up. Oh my <laughs> God. You the, should have just opened the door and threw up. I remember there was a, like, Louis Hughes was there and he was, he, because he, you know, he stayed with me. Yeah. The door, oh. like, it was just, and then Mr. Barons was cleaning up with a mop. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That is <laughs> rock. Yeah. Story yeah. I'll never forget. Have you ever thrown up or shit yourself in school? I've thrown up quite a lot in school. That's because uh, I still get them now, but I used to get like chronic migraines like every month in mm. high school. It was just my body adapting and uh, genetics. And it got so consistent that everyone was asked, like, did you throw up yesterday? I'm like, yeah. I just got very casual about it because everyone knew I was the guy. The throw mind. up guy. Yeah. Well, not the vomit <laughs> guy, but, you know, just like. <laughs> oh, look, it's vomit every, guy. Like, it was funny the first two times and everyone was like, oh, I've passed it after right, that. Right, yeah. So, there you go. And you didn't get bullied. This is what I mean. <laughs> no. I mean, have you seen me? No fair enough. Yeah, Jesus. No one wants to pick on Jesus, do they? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they think they'll go to hell otherwise. Uh, or I'll crucify them. Yeah, damn. I've shot myself at school. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I was a, I that was, was a kid. First day. I was a kid, though. It was, I think it was year two. So how, how old are you there? Like I was what? year 11. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, in sixth form. Year two, like what, five, six? Oh, shit, no, it's older than that, isn't it? I don't know. It's like idea. seven or eight. Eight, yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I shot myself. Yeah, not surprised. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the substitute teacher going. Oh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But then the substitute teacher went, "Oh, Sean, are you all right?" I was like, "Yeah, so I'm it." So, I think I've told that story. Yeah. I don't remember it, no, but that's I've even never more heard funny. that before. Have you not? Second no. time, really. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I've never shot myself in remember. school. That was a while ago. To be fair, I never wanted to shit in school because the toilets there were always yeah, disgusting. I never, yeah, I never I, shot. That, 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 that did remind me of a story Literally. though. Back in um, back in primary, it was like year six. I was in music lesson. There was this kid, and like he always had half of his ass crack out. 
<laughs> he's quite a big chubby guy yeah oh right and uh, <laughs> he was just sat there and we hear this like massive fart like it was an <laughs> earthquake right and all of a sudden he gets out and runs out the class oh no um, right oh, no. and because all of his ass crack was out he shat and it went all up the back of the seat oh, oh. Mate, it was vile <laughs> i was oh, like no. what just happened oh no oh my god <laughs> I don't think I saw him after that day. I don't think he came back to school. Is sure it wasn't a French horn if you were in no, music no. class? We didn't have like anything out. It was like five minutes into the lesson. He just started and early. I just shat. <laughs> you been there, Oshan? <laughs> I haven't. That's that's bad. That is bad. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. No, Jeez. never had that happen. The thing, with, um, the thing with high school is I chose... The years I chose to like dick about were like the GCSE, like right at the end. Mm. So yeah. Most remember, important. Well, yeah. I mean, like, it's not, not really important. that important. I, yeah, I remember like getting like, obviously you did like mocks or whatever in like mm. year 10. Yeah. And then they, they moved me down in like science because they put all the science grades together, don't they, to combine them. So mm. I, did, I did decent in like biology, physics, whatever. And because my chemistry was shit, they were like, right, drop you down a set. Mm. And they dropped me down a set, which was your class. Yeah. And then so I, it was I, just, I dropped and you down. dropped down, didn't oh, you? No, it was no, I was no one. <laughs> yeah. So, I so you were below us? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're I well, stupid. stupid. I had a stupid class. I, I uh, just yeah. remember just my grades went from like B's and A maybe or whatever. Just, to like just shit. Yeah, <laughs> I ended up doing like the lower tier things. And yeah, all you're that. doing all right though. Am I though? GCSE isn't important. No. no. The only thing it's used for, useful for, is to prove you're not a fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah. So it is quite. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but if you're not a fu- if you but are that, a fucking idiot, you're going to fail GCC no matter what. If you if you're not, if you've got some common sense. But yeah. then again, it doesn't really matter when you get a job. If you can prove you can do it, they'll hire you. Mm. Yeah. Well, and it all depends on the job, I guess, but yeah. I most agree. jobs I've, are doing that nowadays, so mm. all our GCC, you know, um qualifications are out of date anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So True. there's literally to get into college, aren't they? Do college yeah. or yeah, you know, for you. There's actually no point in having to everyone except Danny because I wouldn't imagine you would have to deal with this but do you still put your uh, GCSE uh, grades on your CV? No. Uh, yeah. I don't even have a CV. Why? That's why I assumed. I've, I, I've had one jo- I've applied for one job in my life. Oh. <laughs> Tesco. And did you or didn't you? Sorry I didn't hear. Yeah. I did. Oh okay. Chris? What else to I don't think I no I don't think I put like my actual grade I think oh, I just put like I, put all the ones I just passed. said GCSEs. Fair. It, you know the, yeah, I don't put like what GCCs yeah. I got or how many just I got. I just put I education. Yeah. Oh. But then, I don't have I, to be honest, I haven't updated my CV in a while because you've been in the same job for a while, yeah. Well, the same industry for a while, so I don't really need. Oh yeah, there is to. that. Plus, you use um, LinkedIn. Well, yeah, that's it. Yeah, people message me all the time offering me jobs, and I was like, "Fuck off, got a good one." <laughs> so I mean, I don't actually say it like that, but there was one I thing worse. I just thought of when I thought about science was there's actually a story. Of Stevens, where because he got m- dropped down to the set with all uh, the. Wait, uh, can I say it? Can yeah, I, yeah. Say, uh, uh, I think I know what you're about. Because mm. um, that's what I wanted to say when you said it. But um, so I got moved down to the stupid class. I will say it. Yeah, they were all <laughs> retards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but, why so you were there. They would like. <laughs> so they'd like scribble on your book and they did. They had no care. About you. <laughs> Mate, they were terrible people. Like you'd, you'd put your book in a pound and they'd just stop paying on it. And it's just like, what are you doing? Just like child. I got There's severely people that would like bullied. They put the S on they my book. They were in like the low set of every set thing. Hang on and a minute. Hang on, time, hang on a minute. You've just said people that were in this set would get nowhere in life. Yeah. Yet you were in this set. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> so fair yeah, point. Fair point. Yeah, he's got yeah, nowhere. He works in Tesco. <laughs> and he's on a fucking shit podcast. One, one time we were in a, uh, one of the mobile classrooms and the teacher left the room and every time that obviously you know they just go wild they start doing throwing shit at each other mm. and they found a piece of toilet roll like a big blue roll mm. and they'd throw it from side to side room and they'd just be like they'd just be hitting the sides be, making mess and one time they did they launched it and it threw it went to it and hit the light in the middle oh, and it dropped and smashed all over the floor so then what they did was they all worked, like, started to work together and they all picked up like piece by piece and they'd hide it into all the different cupboards <laughs> until it was completely clean. It they'd all just hide time. it around in the different cupboards and the, yeah. the teacher came in, there was just no light on the top. <laughs> they just didn't know, like, obviously didn't, didn't know during. What I always find funny so is bad. they're so dirt, like they are the idiots. That's the one time they've ever probably like used their brain yeah. collectively. <laughs> it's, it's because like, the brain cells just connect them. <laughs> they formed one yeah. solid brain working. But yeah. even how, even their solution was retarded. <laughs> just hide it. Yeah, but but a load of broken glass where people are going to shove <laughs> They've their They've all hands. got bloody <laughs> hands. Don't know what happened, sir. 
<laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, it's hell. great that it worked, though, isn't it? There Thanks. you go. That was a good amount of stories. Mm. We got one from Danny and Stephen. How about that? Yeah, everyone told a story, didn't there they? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Anybody think a standout? Uh, I, did, I, just, I just find that one of Stephen's funny. I just can't. I just oh, the, picture them no, actually, around. I like the shit story from Danny. The one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> shit. In yeah. Oh, man. God that knows is what bad. that sounded like. Well, do you know his name? No, I can't remember it. Shit man. Well Shit done. Man. He wins Proud this week. <laughs> nice one. Nice. Right. Uh, plugging our Milkmen original merch now. So if you want to become a Milkmen founder, check out milkmen.shop. With nice. limited edition hoodies, t-shirts, caps, and more, Milkmen original will keep you cuddly cool. Don't know why that came out that way. Will keep you cuddly, warm, and cozy. With free shipping over over orders £69 across the UK, purchase any product and you'll be labelled a Milkman founder. Make sure to check it out at milkmen.shop. Nice. It's really good to know that I'm the only person here wearing it. I'm wearing better merch. McLaren. McLaren. Well. How much did that cost? Uh, it was like 75. 75 quid for a jumper. Ooh, yeah. That's way more than milkmen.shop. Yeah, but it's also better because they make good car. <laughs> um, we make not- shit podcast. And good clothes. I uh, semi good clothes. <laughs> Mate, what are you doing? I um, <laughs> I went on the McDonald's app today to look at what I was going to get later on today. And fuck me, man's pre-order. I, uh, I'm really hungry. <laughs> 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 and um, a pop-up came up saying that they're selling merch. We should all buy it. McDonald's. Yeah, and they have a hoodie which I think is over a hundred. What? We, we should definitely really all buy shit. Mackey's merch. So if we go Mackey's tonight... No, I mean like... Oh, online. Online. Oh, okay. Like on the actual McDonald's Get food up. app, it just popped up with hoodies, Get T-shirts and shit. You're in debt. What are you doing? Stop... Yeah. yeah. Credit card yeah. debt. I ain't paying that <laughs> shit back. <laughs> it's not real money. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Fair. that's a fair point. But, that's how I look at it. It's <laughs> weird because like the T-shirts cost like 40 and then hoodies just went over 100 for some reason. Do they sell hats? Maybe, I don't remember. Well, we do. Milkman.shop. Good one. Nice. All right. Uh, moving on to weekly news recap. Uh, so, the new trailer for Five Nights at Freddy just dropped. And uh, apparently... Right. I've got to interrupt you because this is massive news. Have you heard about the leak on GTA? You've just reminded me about your game stuff. No. Uh, I've heard something about Red Dead 3 confirmed. Yeah, that's confirmed. confirmed. But have you not heard about the GTA 6 leak? No. About a year ago, yeah. No, not fuck it. No, it's a new one. It no. was an audio recording. Oh no! And it was a leak that said. Oh, it was the release date, wasn't it? The release yeah, date was yeah. it? Was it? Oh, was October it for 25th like? Yes. Yeah, so um, what's it called with the financing companies? I can't. Remember. I didn't actually look into it properly. This yeah. year. Yeah. They're not going to release GTA in one month with no marketing. I mean, that it might be say it's marketing just... itself. No, that is very like ball of marketing. I mean, really? Fallout Four did basically the yeah. same after like it two months itself. after it's... announcing it. In fairness, they could just go, We are, yeah, GTA 6 comes out tomorrow. I very highly doubt it. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I very much doubt it, like sales. Stephen, but that would be fucking sick as yeah. marketing goes. I didn't know that. It could probably be October next year. Yeah, that's that. more plausible. I don't think I, I'd win. Why you f- I'm just the messenger, mate. I'm just saying. Where did you find this? Was it on X? It was on TikTok. So you've got to believe it. Uh, I, I have fair. seen it a few times. Okay. The fact you said X is awful. That's yeah. an awful name. Twitter. I mean, we've had this discussion on the podcast before, so I just remembered. I wasn't there. Exactly. <laughs> Whose fault's that? Not mine. Should we just beat the shout out of them now or later? Yeah, yeah. let's do it now. Yeah. Get out of the way. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to Five Nights at Freddy's. So oh, yeah. we already saw a teaser and a first trailer from Blumhouse's adaptation of the horror game. Uh, and now we have a fresh look showing all the animatronics and it includes the background of like the backstory of those films, films, games, sorry. Um, it features Emma Tammy directing from a script she wrote with game creator Scott Cawthon. I think that's the uh, creator. I've never played a game, so I'm just going to say that's the guy, Scott. No, why? And Seth cues back. I thought that said cuddle back. <laughs> and that would have been so fitting for Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, and the movie is about uh, Josh Hutcherson as Mike Schmidt, a troubled security guard who begins to work at an all but abandoned Freddy's Fazbear's pizza area. Uh, while spending his time on the job, he realizes the night shift at Freddy's won't be so easy to make it through. Only reason I'm going to watch it is because of Josh. Not I don't Matthew, see him in much stuff anymore. 
I know him from fucking what's it called? What? Um, Hunger Games. Yeah. That's Not Shaggy, it. no. Shaggy. Oh fuck! Mm. Oh my god! Yeah, sorry. No. Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah the, the manager guy. Yeah, well, he's that, in he's the trailer. Like, no. like, sorry, what? I didn't realize who it was for a second. <laughs> yeah, no, him and Shaggy. I thought you were saying Josh Hutcherson <laughs> was like the new Shaggy or something. Oh, that would be sick, actually. Pass the baton. Um, the film also stars Olympus Lally, Cat Connor, Sterling, and Piper Rudio, and Matt Stewart Matteson as Matthew Lillard. And uh, Five Nights of Freddy will be out on 25th of October. Shall we go oh, watch it? Oh, same day GTA 6 comes out. Oh, fuck off. Oh, no. no I can't go and watch it now. Have you, already seen, have you also seen that Corey Kenshin's in it as well? Who? The YouTuber. In the first trailer, there's the, the, the taxi driver right Oh, yeah. Trailer. Looks at the uh, he looks. Oh at the yeah, yeah, and the back rear view mirror. Yeah. yeah, right at the end, there's a, there's a taxi driver. Right, he's a FNAF YouTuber. Oh really? I think no um, oh, should definitely cool. should have been Markiplier. Though. I, I think he is in it. You know, I think the um, Markiplier. Yeah, yeah there's like the, there's like posters of like employee of the month as well, and they're also FNAF YouTubers. Oh, oh that's, that's, cool. that's so cool um, that they've been involved them. You know those like really weird YouTubers that go in depth on movie trailers and shit like that. I'm pretty sure there's one where they mention like. Markiplier's voice is in the background of one of the clips that they've if released. If you Markiplier in it, he must have like the biggest role of all the YouTubers, uh, if he were yeah. to be in it. Imagine he's if he literally was... literally the biggest like, YouTuber. YouTuber that did it. Yeah, literally. Well, no, Jack Sapp's the guy didn't do that, did he? Markiplier was bigger. And Markiplier was more... Yeah, he's bigger. So much yeah, bigger. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Fucking hell, um, he makes so much money. He literally, he doesn't even care. Like, He's not bragging about it. He just doesn't care about saying it either. He's like, I make an ungodly amount of money. Well, he knows his... Well, he's started small and he's hmm. he's not going to shy away from that, is he? No. He's like, I'm mean, no. very lucky for to his position. Yeah, if you've built it, you're allowed to flex it. Yeah, but he doesn't. Fle- he's not flexing. No, yeah, obviously. But he, but like, you he don't have to hide it. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't yeah. hide it. He's not like, you know, no. oh, no, I don't make that much. He fucking makes a no. shit ton of money. He gives loads to charity and his friends. Oh, and... yeah, he does streams and shit, doesn't he? Why is he not, why is he not investing in this? That's what I want to say. You're well, a mark, lad. If he knew we existed, then maybe, but... Nah. He does. Well, I text him every night. Every day. <laughs> On Instagram. I'm like, yo, what up, shouty? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, last episode's podcast was shit. Get back. <laughs> and I fuck him. <clears throat> anyway. Who doesn't? Has anybody here actually played Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah, it's shit. Have so you, you have actually? played it? I haven't played it. I've no, I definitely videos. would not like survive playing it. Nor would I. I would. There would. Be, you know, like he was saying about his mate in music class that shat up the <laughs> back of the. Yeah, that would be me. French horn. It's yeah. really not that scary. You underestimate my shit, man. Yeah, that's true. You're a pussy. I think it's because it's so commercialized that everyone's mm. just like, ah, oh, it's not that fucking scary. But like, I don't play those games that often. I don't feel like mm. I get scared often on those games. But still, I know I'm gonna. What's the scariest game you've ever played, everyone? That's a good question. Um, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it'd be uh, too fucking fast, you know. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Long, down, you? Yeah, hide and seek with my dad. I was just, just shit. Good joke. one. Just move on. Um, <laughs> slap that one, it? Yeah. I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this on the podcast, but Sorry, I started really. playing uh, Outlast Two. Uh, I'm mm. not sure. Maybe a few months ago. Mm. I know he got into it like for like two hours, and then because it's set in a, like a Is that, hill... um, Outlast Trials, yeah. No, the second one, it's like set in a hillbilly oh, west. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. And it's about. just always pitch black. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, the first one was set in, like, a laboratory, like, asylum, and it mm-hmm. had, like, a bit more yeah. lighting to it. This one's just pitch black constantly. Mm-hmm. I'm like, really? nah, nah, I'm out. Yeah. Oh. But that's probably, I like, I really want to play Outlast Trials. Me oh, too. do you remember that horror game, Shrek? horror game that I played it was oh, like Slender Man but oh, Shrek yeah. isn't that the really weird one where it gets a bit sexual at the end <laughs> what let's move oh, on oh no that's the, that's yeah, the video yeah Shrek is low Shrek is yeah low. that's it yeah. yeah yeah sorry I got oh, too no, mixed yeah. up <laughs> yeah imagine think completely imagine like... the fucking plot twist playing that game and it got to that end. Shrek just comes out with his fat cock what okay. you wish uh, anyway, what was moving. The <laughs> what was the thing? What was the I don't think there was a question played. related to that. Oh no, one. it was just news, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, sorry. But yeah, I'm excited for that film. I'm probably not going to go see it in cinema because it's know, one that you stream, isn't it? Illegally. Yeah. Well, Blumhouse is kind of a, uh, a studio that kind of are known to make sh- like relatively cheap horror films, hmm. but they're still, you know, they try their best. That's all that counts. 
one <laughs> film that's been out for a little while now I want to go watch mm. the uh, Gran Turismo film have you still not seen it oh, wow why because no one's going with me I don't, oh. I don't like going to places on my own like that oh. I do yeah you're you, you're used to it though <laughs> fucking loner yeah <laughs> that's really so, not an insult I take that as a compliment but I've also seen a clip that there was a GT3 RS in there and I won it. It's so a I car. Need, yeah, I need to go and watch the film now just because of that car. I've also seen a clip of it. Don't want to watch the film. It's based on a true you know story. Though, yeah, it, it is. is, yeah. From a guy who went from playing the game and then uh, moved up. Like going through a tournament and then moved up to actual r- racing. No way. He was in the Le Mans 24 hours and stuff like that. Didn't you say that Cy tried to compete? Yeah, Cy got through to like top 300. And then didn't manage to get through any further. He just couldn't be asked. He gave he, up. He was playing on controller against people on wheels. So, oh, that that actually sounds like a good film. Yeah. Well, there was um. Shut up, Stephen. T- in 2016, you think it was the 24-hour um the of the Nurburgring. Oh. And one of the worst crashes he's like, uh, like known. He basically went over a hill and it took got air and lifted up, went into the crowd, killed a um spectator. And that, like that's meant to be put into the film and everything. It's just like, just get out of the way. Do you know what I mean, what are you doing standing there? Wasn't even on the track. So it was over. I'm <laughs> you pretty, see a car. Pretty, oh, look, a car. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is two fences on the Nurburgring because it's that dangerous, and it still just went nah. <laughs> good times. So yeah, it looks like a good film. Deserved it. Have you not watched it, Chris? I would have thought you no, would have. I haven't watched it. Yeah, Should we ditch this shit and go? Yeah, we'll go right now. <laughs> It's got, um, what's he called from Stranger Things? Oh, oh, oh I was going to, yeah, yeah. oh, David Harbour. Mm. And a he's lord, a, a, um, Legolas. Man. Yeah, he's the, uh, he's the coach, isn't he? Mm. So probably he's right. <laughs> Steven, so you guys are chatting like, who is in it? And then he'd go, David Harbour. And then you're all right, yeah, but who, who is it? It's a guy from Stranger Things, what's his name? David, D- David Harbour. And then he'd be like, and then you, someone said, who else is in it? Some, oh, what's his name? And then, Orlando Bloom. Oh, who is it? Legolas. Legolas, that guy, yeah, yeah. He literally knows everyone <laughs> mm. ever. It's yeah. a bit concerning, mate. Mm. And you're definitely not watching it. Stalker. I've seen the trailer in front of other films. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think you've got to sort of have an interest in cars and things. Yeah. Um, going back to the horror film that's coming out, yeah. should we make a short horror film? I've wanted to do that for quite some time. I what feel would, like I could. What I'm surprised would be... you haven't spoken about um, is it Talk To Me. Uh, oh, Bacarakis film. Yeah, we mentioned oh, that a oh, while yeah. ago, like when they were making it. But yeah, when's that out? Do you know? Out now, out. I think. It's, it's, out. Out. it's got a really high rated. Yeah. Mm. People say it's like an amazing film. Ah. No, I, I I do want to watch it, but I don't know a fucking thing about it. That's quite novel for me. It's a film. Oh, okay. Horror. Let's go. Yep. Mm. Yeah. What, can you watch it online or is it what? No, it's Have definitely you... cinemas right now. What, you can watch it like... View here. There isn't the a view cinema here. like here. Probably, it's not that niche. It's A twenty four, so it's a A24 quite prestigious studio. Wow. Hmm. Oh, do you know what else is coming out that I'm really buzzing about? But what? also, it's a bit sort of like, woo, eh, how's that going to work? Uh, I am Legend two. Hmm. I loved the first one. Didn't they retcon the first one? Bear with me because I haven't watched it in fucking ages. So there was like a um, like a, an alternative ending. There was two endings, yeah. And cause... they just put the alternative on like the extras of the DVD, whatever. But they're using that ending as like the canonical yeah. version. Yeah, because the original version Is was it... he survived. Yeah. Right. But they used but then the other they, one. in the uh, test screenings. The people were like, "Oh, that's shit. It's shit. He needs to die." Mm. So they fucking ruined it. I haven't even watched that other ending. So way like, better. Way better. I'm sure like it is, but it's going to rack my head if I go to the cinema before I watch that new ending. Basically, the two endings are, there's one where he survives, so at the Spoilers. very end when he's like in his little box, like protecting the oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, v- uh, vampire thing that he's curing, yeah. he takes it out to the other vampires, because obviously it's his wife or whatever, um, and then they don't bite Will, they don't bite him, and then he cu- he uncures this vampire mm. so it takes the you know the serum out and gives the vampire back to the other vampires and then they fuck off and he's now got the cure and he survives with the girl and the little lad oh, right, and yeah. then they drive off drive away somewhere in the other ending which was the one that came out in the movie he kind of he just throws a grenade yeah. 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 yeah which is shit 
Doesn't make Boring. really much sense. I'm Isn't excited it, for it. Michael though. B. Jordan. Yeah, it's. I think it. Yeah, it's him and Will Smith. That's quite a dynamic. Well, it's a bit sort of like Will Smith. Uh, you know, kind of fucked it a couple of years ago, didn't nah, it? Not, mm. I think he's not redeemed keep, himself, keep, but he's still making <laughs> shit. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. mouth. <laughs> if he doesn't slap Michael B. Jordan in that film, I think people <laughs> are going to be disappointed. They should just put Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Rock and Will Smith. <laughs> Playing um, Zebra. We've got a, another weekly news right. recap segment. <laughs> right. Shut Could up. you imagine? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> just We're, man, yes, man. Right uh, there let there. me know if you want to skim this one, but it's about Starfield getting released. <laughs> Yeah, just go, just say, it's Starfield's just, coming out, isn't it? Right, well, it's just is, No Man's Sky, yeah, but... It's, it's the beta, isn't it? Well, it's the early access. Early access, yeah. Oh, is it not out? No. No, it's oh. only out for I it. think I'm going deaf. I can't hear anything in my right ear. About fucking time. All right. <laughs> it hasn't, like, got great... It's, like, mixed. People really Yeah, like I've, I've seen like mixed. I still want to play it down the road. I'm not spending fucking, what's mm -hmm. it, like, 70 quid on it right now. Do you know anything yeah, about this, like Chris? You look a little bit confused. <laughs> no idea. Do you know what Skyrim is? Yes. It's basically Skyrim in space. In space. So, so it's, it's, it's like a mix of world. Skyrim on No Man's Sky. Some yeah. Shit, yeah. Yeah, but I think No Man's Sky is doing it better, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. We keep... Mm. <laughs> a little thing me and Steven do is like every time a new update drops for No Man's Sky and the trailer comes, we just send it to each other. And we don't play it. No, we're, we're just like... like we love we the, see the update, we're like, oh, that's good. I'll send it out. We it's love the redemption thing. story. We just, just keep updating it. Yeah. Like, I, I have not played it since it, since it came out. That's the problem. That's, that's like, yeah, that's the just... problem. There is so much in it. It's kind of overwhelming. Yeah. I think they released it too early. Yeah. Oh, problem. absolutely. There's an amazing documentary on YouTube about it. Mm. So I I think if if they released it with all the updates that are in it now, I'd have loved the game. Mm. But, but, well, now, but, now, but now it is yeah. released with all the updates. Yeah. And you don't play still it. Going. Yeah, I just <laughs> I look at it, I'm like, that disappointed me. Fuck you. Yeah. So I don't play it. How old is it? It must be like nearly 10 years old, right? That's how we look at you, Danny. 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Nonce. Well, I didn't say I found you attractive. I'm just... No, I wasn't saying that you... Fucking... I can't be asked. Carry on. What were you saying? <laughs> was, that was it. Starfield. Yeah. Nice I've thrown a card away. I'm looking forward to playing it when it's like a bargain bucket. Yeah, like cheap. When mm. it came, comes on Game Pass. It's just... <sighs> Imagine if it was online as well, like Star, um, No Man's Sky. Is it mm. not? No. Oh, fucking hell. It's completely yeah. single player. <laughs> no, Why are they even releasing it? Three game like that. Boring. Well, they don't really know, are known for doing yeah, no, multiplayer games. Skyrim, Fallout are all. In, last time mm. they did multiplayer games, Fallout 76. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And that's probably the worst thing I've ever played. Yeah. <laughs> but well, Simon, and he loves it, and it's like, this game is the worst thing. Yeah, but Simon's weird, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. It was free for a while on PlayStation, wasn't it? Glad I missed that one out. Uh, Red Dead 3, that's confirmed, like we mentioned before. Where did you hear about this? I've seen it on headlines, but I don't know the context behind TikTok, it. TikTok, mate. <sighs> Not oh, again. Rock, rock, rock stop. It is real. Oh. Red Dead 3 is probably not going to get confirmed until GTA 6 is out anyway. Mad, isn't it? It's literally been confirmed, we? Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's not even going to come out. If it no, it won't come out for no. like 10 Absolutely years, years but... I'm excited for it. Oh, absolutely. Red Dead 2 was the best story game I have ever played. <laughs> See, Red Dead 2 multiplayer. I got about so an hour good. into it and got bored. That's fine because you're not into those kind of games. You no, have, I am. You have to shoot your way through it. Like, the online, I love that shit. I, I know, you I love the chaos. That one ever. What? What are I, you on about? I can play that shit for hours. Oh, yeah, I like Red Dead Online, but I didn't like the story. The story just it stopped was talking. Boring. Yeah, just stopped I, talking. I never finished it. I thought it was boring. Yeah. Oh, it's just the traveling. You know You'd go to a mission to then have to travel to another place just to do this. It was just like, and it took it. It took so uh, long take to do. Personal offense, That's boys. That's what the problem with online was as well, though. Was the traveling? Yeah, mm -hmm. but you had to use a horse. well, when mm. when you were your your friends, you can just get nap each other. And, mate, it was it's so great. Good the online, but that's what GTA Six needs to be. Yeah, because when you look at Red Dead Redemption 2 is online mm. or Red Dead Online and GTA Online GTA Online is so outdated yeah. but it's so good because it's just it's just so much better so like what they need to do is just take the aspects of GTA and the new Red Dead that like features well, there's mm. only so much you can do in fucking um, western times yeah, mm. yeah. No, I reckon I, if they did the story mode like a co-op that I would have played the whole fucking thing mm. 100% yeah that's yeah, yeah. it's like I, I just love hog tying my friends and throwing them in front of trains <laughs> It's great. Are we still talking about the game? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is 
that fact that um, the new campaign is going to have two protagonists. I mean, the same could be said about GTA Five having three, but imagine Bonnie if you could Clyde have, thing. yeah, yeah. have uh, both those characters playable as a co-op experience. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah that'd, be, that cool. Would, that'd be cool. Imagine if you could do that for GTA Five with Trevor. Uh, Franklin and whoever. It's just, it's just a lot more work, though, isn't it? Yeah. There's a reason. Yeah, but imagine the, like the idea of alone being executed. Mm. That would have mm. been sick. Yeah. What's next? Fucking hell! Yeah, we went overboard with that segment, didn't we? Yeah, waffling on. Sorry, lads. Right. So our socials. So if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on X, Instagram, TikTok, handle at Watch Milkman. Behind the scenes, an extra content is waiting for you. So I will smack your fucking shit up if you don't. It says on the card. Oh. So. He doesn't it's say that good. at all. He's just a really yeah, angry it's person. A bad card. <laughs> you, you've just put bullet points on those. Schizophrenic man. Yeah, no um, <laughs> Once again, <laughs> Milkman is at Watch Milkman across all social medias. Nice. Segment six: Curdle Conversations, a conversation between the five of us where we delve into the hypotheticals of the mo- world's most notorious and despicable questions. Question. Carry on. Ah, uh, okay. I was in my own little world then. Uh, that we encourage you, the audience, to send to us. So get on it. Uh, so the hypothetical question is... Wait, we've got one. No, I want to know what that one is. Oh, I'm not do you want to do yours or... Yeah, no, no, no we're going to have I'm three. Never be able to find it. So the actual one. two that are on that card, yeah, I'm oh, saying I'm a minute, but Chris, is, Chris, found. Chris has was, got would one. Would you forgive your, oh, uh, <laughs> no, let me your friend if she walk, caught you cheating? <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> Yeah, would would you forgive your girlfriend if she walked in on you cheating on her? No. Yes. Simp. I would never <laughs> forgive that. Do you That's know what I mean? twisted. No, I'm, for, I'm forgiving myself, not her. <laughs> well, like, yeah, that was the question, wasn't it? Right, carry on. Okay, amazing. Right. It's worth it. Yep, thanks. Nice Dial it to 11 now. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, this is kind of similar. Um, if you fuck your homie in a computer simulation game, but you bro a girl in the game, are you gay? A black mirror. Ah, yeah. 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 It literally says, it black, says mirror black mirror, mirror on it. Right. <laughs> I was just saying. Is it? Is it gay? I, no. I, I personally I feel so. that it isn't. Okay. Mm, I don't think it is. <laughs> Here's my opinion. What, what, what if we fucked in a video game? <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen me fuck in a video game. No, that's a good like, <laughs> like throwing out there like in a like abstract mindset. No, you literally say, imagine Stephen was a girl in game, would you fuck him? Yeah, yeah. No, the thing I don't. But, like, was quick. but it looked like yeah, Anna de Armas. Same. No, that's the thing. I think the gay bit, especially in that episode, was outside of the game where they're talking. He's like, oh, it's the best I've ever had. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're, they're, that's they're a bit gay. It. Yeah. But the actual like, and you're, you're, you're a character, right? You have it. To you, you're shagging the character. The opposite gender. Yeah. yeah, but then is it gay if you're the girl? Yeah, exactly. Getting that's, dicked down. Yeah. That's Nah. It's not gay. That's not gay. You're a, a woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, you I'd can say that, that side is a little bit gay. I like that you're all overthinking. I'll just fuck anyone. Yeah, but of course right. you would, mate. Mm. See you know. Jesus over here. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't think Some Jesus sort of ever said that. that. He did. It's in the Bible, mate. It's in the Bible. I'd fuck I've, anyone. I've, I've read the Bible. Mm. That's the sequel. God and that. God and that. Here's something that is gay, though, that. <laughs> <laughs> that you've told me before. You've said... <laughs> right? What did I say? You said you would have a threesome with your bro. And then yeah? Get... That's kind of gay. I'd have a threesome with two of my bros. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, no. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, no w- women. No, that's not, straight gay. Not that I would, because mm. I'm in a committed Obviously. relationship. Yeah, but it's in hypothetically, hypothetically, if I was put in a situation, it depends on which bro. I'll be honest. If it was Steven, probably not. I wouldn't go there with you. Bad. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I'd be <laughs> embarrassed. Teaching I'd... in the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are you doing? So this is a penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd feel embarrassed. I'd be like, oh, you know. Yeah, because why are you looking at my cock while I'm doing? <laughs> He's got yeah, his phone his up. Stephen, why is yours so much bigger? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You uh, know he's got a schlong. I've got um, a short. Do you know what I've mean? got a schlittle. What? Schlittle. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got no. a sh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that okay. It's not gay. I feel why like is that that's gay? more. That's more gay than shagging your mate in a video game. I feel like that's less gay. Because, hang on a minute, you're saying it's more gay, you're saying it's more gay to shag a girl 
with your 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 mate as opposed to shagging your mate <laughs> in a video yeah, game. Yeah, but you're not shagging your mate, you're shagging a, a character in a game. That's Who like is your mate? No, that's like having a threesome, but the girl sits at the sidelines. Mm. Yeah, literally. <laughs> that That's like shagging your mate and you're looking at a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't feel that's... I think it's more gay. You're wrong. You're just wrong. <laughs> what if... That's, it's a bro moment. Imagine, like... <laughs> High okay, five. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we hold hands like that. Okay. No, I just look back at you. I can just look back at you. Oh, you're having fun, mate. Yeah. Hello, kisses him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Why imagine this. And then throw the girl to the side. You're, you're online. <laughs> okay. Get her out of the way. Okay. <laughs> you're an online avatar and you're about to get it on with them. And out comes their voice and it sounds like your friend. Do you still go on? Yes. With it? Oh, so like I'm a, a man avatar in a game. Yeah. I see a girl avatar in a game, yeah. and then it's the voice of someone that sounds like my mate. What yeah. a shag him. Yeah. No. Does that like not switch, turn a switch in your head? Like, hang on. No. Well, oh, fuck it. If Oshan was a female and a girl, game, right? Voice comes out, straight Oshan's voice. I'm like, shit. <laughs> We're now getting down and dirty. <laughs> now he's interested. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Mate, if Oshan so was much. in a game looking like himself. <laughs> <laughs> but sounding like a girl. <laughs> If Oshan, why is it I me? Would. Why is it me? Why not Stephen? I ain't gonna shag Stephen. Why not? Because I'm scared of his dick. Yeah, but you can throw him about, can't you? I throw you about. I go to the gym mm. at least twice a week. Yeah, you can tell it. You can tell. I'm wearing a jumper. Not what do you long. mean? And a punch in the head. Uh, so consensus is yeah. yes. Well, no, I, I wouldn't. No, I would. What was the question? Would oh, you shag? Sorry. What's the next question? You may, if it's... If it's a girl in a game, I'd say no. Steven's obviously a yes, because he's an aunt. Danny's a yes, Chris is a yes, Ellis is a mm. yes. Always. I think it'd be fun, wouldn't it? you just meet up the next day and talk shit about it in front of everyone. Oh, I remember all that come on your face. That would be a funny podcast moment. Good story. What's the next question? No? <laughs> okay. Okay. Next question is... If you could commit any crime and get away with it, what would it be? Oh my god, so many. <laughs> Why would you write that question? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, rob a bank? Yeah, it would probably just be something boring. Rob a bank. Throw a load of mustard gas into a crowd. Okay. Oh yeah, imagine something just really fucking <laughs> twisted. Genocide. It's so easy to make mustard <laughs> gas. How? I'm not going to go mustard. on to it. About... <laughs> so you get some mustard, <laughs> and then you get some... Uh, you fry it. You get some flow gas. <laughs> How do you make it? I'm not going to... No, nah, best not. I'd be put on a watch list. So I'm not going to... Why is it called mustard gas? I don't know, <laughs> actually. <laughs> it better not. No, I actually don't know. Is it but yellow, it's... maybe? I, don't know. I think the haze of it is yellow. I think it originally might have been yellow, yeah. yeah. Maybe that's uh, They've why. updated it. To look <laughs> like <batch>. Red Death. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like, I don't know, spicy? <laughs> mm. I mean, Danger for what it does, yeah. Oh, what does it do? <laughs> it melts your insides. Melts oh. you from the inside out. I was joking. That's mad. That's genuine what it does, yeah. That I want at Nando's. And it's easy to make? Yeah. How easy? I could go and do it right now. <laughs> Fucking hell. All I have to do is walk Time to the, for our blue pizza. What, what if we made mustard gas together. All I have to do is walk <laughs> to the shop and buy something. Just one thing. That's all I need. Mustard, <laughs> mustard gas. No. A bottle of bleach. All right, we're going Done. too far, right, isn't it? Oh. That's all I need. Bleach. Yep. I'm going to tell you the other thing. <laughs> but everyone has it. Gonorrhea? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Moving on. All right. I'll tell you after. All right. <laughs> What crime would you do, Stephen? No. Murder. Fucking murder? hell. I don't. Anyone. Huh? Right. Can we make a rule? Is it is it that you can only commit the crime once, or is it just you pick a crime and then you can do it whenever you want? Once. Forever. I once. say once. Once? Oh, that's boring. You made the question. I know. Yeah, but then he set that rule. Indecency. All right. Uh, <laughs> he could... I would steal a plane and just yeah. fly it without a license. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. You'd have to go for like a. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> hell. You'd have really? To go for like a big one. You know, like them massive. That's Jesus' comeback. Bank robbery. <laughs> that was like a huge police. You know, like the whole, like, um, the whole city's after you. 
That's well, no, they're saying. not because you're getting away with it. You're boring the them, wouldn't it? They were so shit. <laughs> so you walk do... into a bank, give me the money, and then you walk out, and it's like, oh. So you want to commit a crime and not get away with it? <laughs> well, no, you get away with it. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you want to do a GTA thing where yeah. you get the police chase, but they don't catch you. Then you get to, the, yeah, to an airport, you see the plane, you fly yeah. off, they can't find you. They're just like, oh, well. right, see you later, Steve. <laughs> you got out of bounds. Fair enough. <laughs> what? Um, okay. Did you come up with one? I didn't. Um, I mean, I liked Danny's, to be honest. Genocide. <laughs> no, because I hate people. Oh, did I tell you about the way here? No. No. Oh, fuck me. It was an absolute nightmare getting here today, driving. Because there's a, there's a roundabout to get to here yep. from my house. Did I tell you I have a house, by the way? No? <laughs> no. Um, so there's a roundabout, and it's like, literally, if I can't get off this roundabout, it takes me like another half an hour. So anyway, I got to the roundabout and it was closed. Turns out some knob had crashed. Oh, right. Like, what are you doing? Think of the other people there. No, fuck off. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Him. Just drive. Literally, Not... him being selfish. Yeah, no, literally. Man's in a fatal inc- accident. Yeah. And you're like, fucking hell. That's do half you know an what... hour on my journey. No, nah, do you know what really pisses me off is when they crash and they don't die. It's like, mate, you haven't even done it properly. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Mm, fucking wild yeah. annoys me. So hit the wall faster. Literally, literally added 40 minutes to my journey today. I was... <sighs> Fuming. Is that why you uh, set off early? Or was that just because... Uh, well, I didn't know there was a crash. Oh, okay. but... so you planned on getting here like an hour early? Yeah, I wanted to go to town. Oh. But I drink. couldn't because some dickhead had crashed. <laughs> anyway, so my crime mm. would be finding anyone that does that yeah. and just killing them. Yeah, away with it. Anyone that impacts my journey anywhere. A slight inconvenience. Oh. A slight inconvenience yeah, to my life. To be fair, mate, you, d- you don't even... Limit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've just reminded me. Have you heard about the fucking new? Uh, yeah, the yeah. new rule they're fucking putting in. I don't care Damn. for it. People already go twenty miles an hour. True, That's but annoying. yeah, they're gonna go ten. Happening. Not happening. Yeah, they're gonna go. Fo- they go forty in the sixty. You, you don't obey the laws anyway. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. It, He's always drunk. In GTA. <laughs> yeah. What's the purpose of doing it to twenty? Is it safety or is it emissions or whatever? Safety. Everything. Safety. Yeah. Everything. To prevent crashes. No, what it is is a money making scheme. Because no one's going to listen to it, mm. which means a lot of tickets, which means a lot of money for the government. That's a good point. <sighs> yeah, but the, yeah, but it, there's like loads of pros and cons to it. But in reality, no one gives a fuck. No. I'm still going to be driving 60 and a 30. <laughs> 20, sorry. <laughs> 60 and a 20. Yeah. I mean, it re- can it really be emissions, though? Because you're not, bunching I'm... all the cars together at a slower mile now. Ah, well, no, they're, they're saying because it's going to like piss people off. Less not drivers. Many, yeah, not as many people Cyclists. are going to be driving. It's just not going to happen, though, is it? It's going to be the old no. people driving. Oh, fucking hope not. That's that's another thing that pisses me off on the road. Just fuck off, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyone else that's on the road just yeah, pisses you, me you know, off. You know you've got a slow driver when you come into a 60 and you just know they're going to go for mm. Yeah. And you know your whole journey's ruined. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mate. <sighs> get me right yeah. there. What, what was the question? What crime would you get away with? Yeah, what crime would get away just with. Just kill all drivers. <laughs> My uh, my mum will love this bit. Um, I was telling Danny on the drive here. Uh, my mum's just recently got a speeding ticket. <laughs> Bless her heart. No way. Yeah, it wasn't in the car I drove here. It's in the like camper. So no. somehow she drove quicker. How? I she don't know. Past it, yeah. So she apparently to the letter. I think it was like she was driving at thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Oh, gutted. I know. In like in a forty. No, I'm just... <laughs> in a twenty. <laughs> so you're being too fucking in a 30, slow. 37, 38. Yeah. That's that's bad. It was a uh, near Pristatin, I believe. She's mortified by it, but I find it fucking hysterical. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Yeah. Shouldn't have been speeding. That's mad though, because I. She's had one in the past five years criminal. as well. She had to take a course to get the points taken off. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I haven't been caught, to be honest. Because you know allegedly. The, allegedly. Yeah. Because well, you would know. Well, because you're local and you know the roads so well. So you know where he just doesn't care. We've been in the car with him before. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> allegedly been in the car all, all the way down to Cheshire Rokes. Allegedly, we were going like a hundred. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> that was just in the quiet lane. <laughs> yeah. The quiet bits. The built up area. Not even the A fifty five. No, not on the motorway. I even do that. I drive I wouldn't drive like that on a motorway. Just in the school areas. <laughs> school areas, I hit hundred and fifty. Oh yeah. I don't, want to seem like, I don't want to seem like a nonce. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Creeping around. Get, get through I want to get there script. out quick as possible. Yeah, yeah exactly. Why do you want you to You're slow down? You're saving the kids. Get a better look. Yeah. 
Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, let's, uh, let's move on to segment seven. Change game. Uh, so, two of the milkmen will perform a scene based on any suggestions from anyone here. At any point during the scene, the host can say change, at which point the previous line of dialogue and or the action is replaced with a new line of dialogue or said action. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We all took part apart from Oshan in the last one. Okay, so I, I'll do it with Chris. He's got Ellis host. host. I'll be the host then. Stephen host. You've never host. All right. Okay. There you go. Me and Chris, Stephen host. Damn it. What's, what's the situation? Right. What's like been a thing that's been revolving around this episode today? Uh, Jesus. 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 Somebody, okay. Somebody's either Jesus or just... What, what about one of us is a Christian, mm. the other isn't. We're having a conversation about it. I could get quite deep. Okay. And I'll change that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so who is the Christian to start with? Him. He's Chris. Chris. Yeah. You're the Christian. Christian. Okay. You won't nice. make that joke. <laughs> back. Um, all right, we're going. Hmm. Hello. I brought you here today because I want to have a debate because I've heard you're a Christian and I am an atheist. I don't believe in any of that. Okay. Well... Try me. He's not real, is he? Let's be honest. Why, why are you making up stories? Mate, he's literally got a book, yeah? <laughs> Change. Here's a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> Just a selfie. Here's a picture of Shrek. Do you believe in him as well? Fictional character. Um, no. <laughs> Change. Yes. <laughs> you do believe in Shrek? Oh, so you believe in Shrek and Jesus. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, I do. What what's your what's your stance on um the Bible being against gay people? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I follow whatever the Bible says. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm no. very strict when it comes Christ to the Bible. Fact. You're very strict. Yeah, right. word for word. Why would you not? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. So you think there's a big man floating up in the clouds? Yes. Change. No, don't be stupid. <laughs> Hang on a minute. So are you a Christian? Yeah, but he's not floating in the clouds. Fucking Jesus. Change. He's floating in the clouds, but he's not that big. Oh, so he's a little man in the clouds. <laughs> Is that why no one can see him? It could be. It could be. But, you know, who am I to say? You know, I can't speak against God. You know what I mean? Why not? Because it's a sin. Change. Because um, he's listening right now. So he can hear me chatting shit about him. Man's omnipresent, isn't he? Omnipresent. You've got to be careful. So if I said, wait, hang on. So he, he's listening to everyone's conversation ever. That's a bit fucking... So. Yeah, that's why you've got to be careful, mate. That's why, you know, you go around saying he ain't, he ain't real. Yeah, but he isn't, is he? Change. Oh, do you know what? Now that now that you say it, he could be real, couldn't he? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Change. No, actually, you know what? I'm I'm in agreement with you now. I think about it. Well, no, I I think he might be real, actually. Okay, well, hey, you have this Bible. Oh, huh. I'll take your atheist book. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a picture of Shrek as well. Oh, thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you. You can hang that up. Oh, lovely, really lovely that. Right. Uh, I've, I've, I've enjoy your religion. I'll enjoy uh, just chilling or whatever you should do on a Sunday. You can do whatever you want, lad. Oh, that's wild. That... There you go. Right. Nice. So we went from you being a Christian. You that was swapped. smart. You just swapped. swapped. Nice. Yes. There we go. I was going to say change, but you were just going for it. Like you were like when you kept up the gay stuff. And then he was just like, yeah. I was like, I don't even know, so I was going to change it. But he just went with it. I'm like, all right. It's confirmed. Oshin hates the gays. Why do I? No, Chris oh, hates the gays. No, Chris. because now he's you the Chris Gays. He's you now. So he, he's liking them now. Yeah. You. Gays. You were like, I'm in. Well, no, that was a character. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jesus. <laughs> All right, segment eight, closing words. So this is our final segment, which is including Simon's Milk Fact. But since he's not here because he's still dead, dead, uh, anybody got a milk fact they you load to share? Go on, Steve. You got this. Here's a fact for you. That's Steve. Can ask, well, I'm going to ask him and he can give me the fact. What's your favorite kind of uh, percentage of milk? Hmm? 
Oh, I was had a fact, but now he's changed uh, the question. Oh, well, you can give he's that fact. fact. What's your fact? <laughs> it's not funny now. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say brown milk comes from brown cows. <laughs> That's not even yeah. funny. It's a bit racist, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, factual either. Jesus, Steve. <laughs> I think Simon's told me that one time. <laughs> <laughs> he believes him. He's like, Simon's facts. You know, got <laughs> you know it's got to be true if Simon said it. Mm. Would you ever try breast milk? Mm. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> End it there. Thank you for listening. Make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash milkmen, where you can get access to our videos, bonus content, monthly tote pictures, merchandise discounts, signed postcards, your name in the videos produced, and more. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stop fucking around, cunt! And make sure to click that bell to get notified by our future content. See you next time. I love you all. Take care.